Hey everybody, today I thought I would show you some of my mountain bike collection. It's a beautiful day here in Minnesota. Um, and I was working on some projects and I had some of the bikes out so I thought it'd be a great time to show you some of my personal projects that I've built in the past. Um, hopefully give you some inspiration for your builds in the future. So this is a Alpine Star All Mega DX. Um, purple is one of my favorite colors, so that's why this one really spoke to me. Um, some cool things about this bike is randomly I found um, some Alpine Star TKO tires. They were on a specialized stump jumper, and I was like, "Oh, sweet! I need those for my my bike." So snagged them it's a little dusty because i was out ripping the on the trails on this one a little bit earlier um my buddy roger gave me this sweet soft ride stem with the purple accents and then you know i added a little bit more with this uh purple um canty cable holder the pedals are nothing special uh honestly looking to throw some other ones on there but they were just sitting around when i had them um, let me grab the camera and I'll give you a little bit closer view. It's a 92, so Dior DX, front and rear derailleur, Dior crank. You know, there is some damage. I had a more pristine frame, um, but it was too small for me, so I found this one that fit. Um, the Dior DX Canties, Avocet Racing Saddle, uh, there's a good shot of that soft ride stem, the Dior DX thumb shifters, some Ori grips, profile, fiber RS bar, I might actually be swapping out the bars um maybe something a little bit wider just because i do ride this one and a little bit wider would be nice uh, yeah, but i mean actually alpine stars have such great you know logos and paint i would love to find one of the more like splatter paint ones um but unfortunately the last two alpine star omegas i found have had cracked head tubes this one luckily doesn't needed the the smaller purple one that I had. Um, but yeah, this thing is a ton of fun. So this is one, like I said, that I ride fairly regularly. Um, but it's just a gorgeous bike. Um, so let me wheel this one in and I'll pull up the next one. Okay, so here's another one of my favorites. This is a Fuji Professional. And there's a great story on this one. I was garage sailing randomly and was not looking for bikes. I was out looking for records. It was my day off. Um, love garage sailing. And pull up to the garage sale. And the, there were some bikes outside, which I, of course, always look at. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, you know, like Walmart Schwinn's. But then the gentleman was like, oh, I have another bike I'm trying to get rid of. And he wheeled this out. And I was like, oh, I have to have it. Um, so, Sun Tour XC Pro, crank, front derailleur, rear derailleur, um, Richie Logic brakes, I tossed on a pair of Pana Racer, what are these, these are, um, carrot, uh, no, however you pronounce that, um, you know, nothing too fancy in the saddle apartment. I've pretty much, it, it's as I found it except for the tires. It had some cheap tires and I thought it would look better with some tan walls. But I mean, it has the Richie grips, hmm, Richie brake levers, and the Sun Tour dummies, Richie. Force quill stem. You know, it's just a great 
the lavender color is really cool. Unfortunately, he had um, a lock mount here, so there's some wear in the paint. But other than that, it's in really good condition. So this is Prestige. This thing rides amazing. Um, and it's just a, it's just a fun, fun ride and a really just good looking bike. Um, I have this, my collection is interesting. It's, it's what I like, but I'm also trying to have one of every brand. Um, and so this is the Fuji that's spoken the most to me. I had a Sundance for a while, but I just like, uh, I like this one. Let me go to the next one. So here we have a Fisher Super Caliber. Um, again, really awesome paint job. The black to orange to yellow fade. Um, it's super cool, super early 90s. I got this from a, my buddy Hurl when he moved to Portland. Um, and it, it's, it's a sweet ride. Um, Sun Tour XC Comp this time on this one with some nice DT Swiss rear rear rim because the, the I'm hoping to track down the the matching Chinook um, in the future and that's got some TXC Comp so that's the the front's the original and there's a spider web in here these have been in the in storage so that's why i've been working on them um so this isn't a matching wheel this rear one but that's on the project list to uh to uh try. i should have really polished these and cleaned these beforehand but i'm very spontaneous and i was like i should film a video of my collection so you're getting to see it and it's slightly dirty but still cool um eh, life that it lives in the bike room um, you know, the control tech quill stem with the good old cork plug so water doesn't get down in there. Taper light handlebar again with those fun Richie grips and some tour thumb shifters. You know, the saddle showing a little age, mostly from storage, um, but again, just an all around fun bike. Made with that custom Fisher oversized tubing, or supersized tubing, I should say, to be correct. This one, let's see, it's just got a bike shop sticker on it, so uh, BJ's Bike and Ski from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. So this one spent its whole, its whole life here in Minnesota, which is pretty cool. So that's a. Uh, it's a fun bike, and one day I'll find that matching matching wheel, and it'll be super cool. On to the next. And here we go. So this is a Univega Alpina Pro, Al Alpine Pro. Uh, sorry, not me and the English language are struggling today. So this one. I, a buddy had it, showed it to me, and I was like, if that is ever for sale, I want it. And he's like, oh yeah, it's for sale. I was like, perfect, I want it. Um, so this is an 89 or late 80s, early 90s. I, ha I honestly have the years all written down on a, in my computer. But I left that at the shop on accident. So we're just here looking at them. So this is black chrome. Not sure how good it's showing up, but in person it is cool. Um, you know, just basic Dior from back in the day. M60, M60, T62, MT60, so yeah, MT60, so first gen, uh, the bottom U brake, obviously, well, well, you know. Um, it's just, yeah. and these tires are super, you know, they look good on here. This dark, um, tan walls. Uh, even as, 
Yeah, even has the Dior hubs to go with it. Um, and the, the, the handlebars also black chrome. Dior shifters. Shimano brake levers. I mean, uh, cool head badge. You know, I thought Univate had a cool head badge. Um, yeah, so this thing's fun to ride too. You know, it's Tang. Triple butted chromoly frame. You know, it has the the sun tour um, seat post clamp. So I should probably find a Shimano one because I feel like that'd be a little bit more fitting saying the whole bike is Shimano. But yeah, this is another fun ride, fun rider, and one that I enjoy. Enjoy ride. I try to ride all of them. There's some I don't ride as much as others, but. I do try to get out and ride this one when I have time. So this thing's it's a pretty pretty sweet bike. So this is one has another great story. This is a Ross Force One. So if anyone knows the story of Ross, they are or were close to, if not, were the first production mountain bike. Um, and when they first came out, they were called the Ross Force One. But then there was copyright infringement, trademark infringement with the name Force One. So they changed it to the Mount Hood. Um, so this is an 83, 84, it was either 83 or 84. But the Force One came out. Um, I run a brick and mortar bike shop also, Carver County Cycles, and we sell mostly used bikes. And so I bought a lot of used bikes, like 70 of them, from a gentleman. And um, this, this was one of them. And I didn't know this one was in the lot. It was just there and I bought it. And then when I was looking through the lot, I found it. And again, I just was like, oh, a Ross, you know, nothing special. And then I did a little bit more research and found out it was a Force One. And I mean, I love this thing. I ride this thing a ton. Um, it is all original to my knowledge, based on everything I've been able to find, except for the front derailleur. It had a Sun Tour AG front derailleur, which was broken when I found it. This um, Spirit is, I mean, it looks, super close. I mean, it's for sure, you know, based on the same design. But I've been trying to find that Sun Tour AG front derailleur. So if you have one, hit me up. I would love to purchase it from you so I can make this this thing complete. Um, and so it's got the, the AG rear. Um, and it's not the AG tech, it's just the AG. It was only around for a short period of time. So I mean this Strata saddle. And on the later models, they did not use these cable clips to, for the housing. Um, there's actually brazons. So these are cool old Shimano um, Durace um, cable um, clips. And it has the um, uh, let's see if it says, you know, old Kenda tires on it, um, obviously the gold, the gold rims, so these are the, the Yukai ones, um, only thing sad is the anodizing is coming off the rear hub, as you can see in there, but the front is in pretty good shape. Still nice and gold. I mean, I mean those lugs, front fork is just gorgeous. This thing, I mean, I put the miles on this thing riding the gravel and the loose line, which is our local rails to trail trail. This thing is just tons and tons of fun to ride. Um, of course, good old bull moose bar, because you have to, thumb shifters. Because again, right, like you have to. Um, yeah, this this thing is a is a ton of fun to ride. 
and it's for sure one of my favorite bikes in my collection. Um, there's some really good uh, photos online of um, the Ross mountain bike team. I think it was called the Ross Indians. A gentleman has the bar, his, his bull moose bars cut so short that he has the shifters mounted inboard because every, I mean, it's, you know, he's here. Brake levers are here, so the shifters are mounted inboard. That's how narrow his bars were, which is just mind-boggling to think about. These are at a really nice width. Um, yeah, it's comfortable, it's nice to ride, so for sure, one of the favorites. And here we have a Barracuda A2V. So my builds, I don't just do catalog builds or of era builds. Sometimes I just toss things together because I think they look good or they just go with what the vision in my head. I, I don't think there's a wrong way to build up a vintage bike. Um, you know, build it to ride it with modern retro mod, you know, catalog build, how you would have dreamed it if you had the money, all those things. I, if you want to do it, you should do it. And don't let anyone tell you any differently. You know, so with this one, I used some XT M739 because, you know, it's just reliable and it looks good. Um, XTR canties with XTR pads and oh look there super fly blue hubs to go with the red white and blue theme pan eraser fire um, XC Pro tires in red white and blue fit the red, white, and blue color scheme. Messy G comp saddle. Again, just fitting the, the color scheme. And then obviously the, the front has the matching Superfly hub with this epic Manitou Answer fork that I really thought the colors went, went really well together. You know, obviously, who cannot love the Barracuda logo? Uh, again, this is prestige tubing. It's got the good old Tree Amigo sticker. So this thing, this thing's a lot of fun. Barracuda bar ends, even though they're pretty much worn off in the, the CUDA, CUDA stem. You know, yes, it has a zoom post, but I wanted a shiny silver post, and that was that one was the right length and the right size. So sometimes builds are never finished, is what we're, what we're seeing here, right? Builds are never finished. So that is my Elmega, my Fuji Professional, my Univega, my super, my super caliber, the Ross, and the Barracuda. That's the first part of the collection. Uh, I will make a second video showing off the second part of the collection. Um, and then we'll probably have to do a third part to show even more because um, lots of bikes and the collection keeps growing when I find new things. I try not to keep everything because uh, that's what a hoarder is and I'm trying not to be a hoarder. I'm just, trying to keep bikes that I really like. Um, and as I said, I'm, I have a goal to have one of every brand. Now I do have some duplicates. I have um, two Fishers and I have two Raleigh's at the moment, and even though they are the same model. But um, let me know which of these you like the best. Um, show me uh, some of your favorite builds. And I look forward uh, to sharing more of these the next time. Bye.